Hello friends, welcome to tutorial is and in this video you are going to learn the project structure of ReactJS. Guys, in the previous video I had this demonstrated you, displayed you that how we can install a ReactJS project and how uh, you can successfully launch and run the project in this one. We will see that how you can and what are the structure actually basically so we will see the project structure because knowing that it's important that which folder which file is, uh, is of use in this so guys you can see these are the whole structure if you check into and uh, yeah and this one is node modules public and uh, so inside the node modules all the dependencies are stored node modules the first one if you check into our projects that we had installed, you can see a lot of files are there. There are different files you can see inside node modules. So here you can see it says this is where all the project dependencies are stored. Dependencies are stored. You typically never edit anything. You don't have to edit anything. So this is where node modules. Next one is public. So where we generally keep here fab icon images. So later you may need to install image. Right? So those are the key. Index.html is the main. So whenever you run the project, the index.html runs first. This is the index.html. Let me show you one thing. If you open here index.html that means what this is the main file react runs this file first so this index.html if you see line number 10 root this is connected to actually where but the question is where is this data because it's not there na? only id root is written there then where it's coming from it's coming from root id so let's go to src main.ess jsx and you can see root id here means it is creating virtual dom it is creating dom through this root all the data is loading here to the html so that is why you can see here root now inside main JSX and inside main JSX app.jsx is connected. So it's index connected to main and main this main main file. and main is connected to app.js so this is how the whole process works now let's do one thing this is the whole code so that is why you are seeing in the front this is the whole code now let's do one thing just delete everything just we will keep it empty container this is called empty container okay this is a placeholder let, let's remove that one also just using h1 welcome we will write here Welcome to ReactJS. So, guys, you can see automatically it got refreshed also and it is displaying there. So, this part is actually the rendering part, what user sees. This is the whole function. Return, inside return, whatever you and above part is the logic. You might be not understanding at this point of time line number seven but don't worry i will explain that later but you can see and this is the html file code this is jsx actually javascript and xml there is no xml but internally it is considered like that now this is css file and this is whole we are calling here app.css if you write any css it will reflect here in assets inside assets probably we keep images folder uploading all like that guys these are all src is the main folder 
where all our assets is there, all our files. App dot JSS we have already discussed main dot JSS. Package dot JSON is basically uh, it contains all the project details. For example, the project name you can see first we are given a dependency. You can see this is all dependencies are there. That type script, type React DOM, plugin React. This is the React version 19. You can see here the 19 and React DOM is also showing 19.1.0. By the time this video is recorded, currently you are learning React 19. And Vite.config is generally for the configuration of Vite. So normally you don't have to configure anything else for the time. You can see but here the plugin is React. Means it is using React as a plugin. So this is there is not much more in this. So this is how and this is the whole process you will be working ahead. So it was important to know that uh, how this works so guys if you have any question queries then don't forget to ask in comment box and if you are new then don't forget to subscribe my channel and like the video as well so that it will reach to you when i upload any useful video in future so guys see you in the next video bye bye